All right, let's see our stats. That's the end of that chapter. Okay, worldwide. Blame took the blame, 78%. Going along with her story, 22%. <laughs> this that's only the end of this episode. That's not there's one more episode left. Um, emptied pockets at David's request is the majority. Gave Damon the money is the minority. And asking Rachel for a kiss is the majority globally. Now for my friends. We took the blame for Rachel. Half of us emptied our pockets. Half of us gave Damon the money. And everyone asked Rachel for a kiss. Some people are mean, okay? Shit. Shit. Okay. Previously, on Life is Strange Before the Storm. I felt like my dad's been lying about something for a while. I just, I didn't know what it was. There is plenty of blame to go around. What does that mean? You forced my hand. This is a consequence of your actions, Chloe. We both agree that the best thing for everyone at this stage is for me to move in. In a million years, this is just a recap from the last episode. David over me. Hey! Black Hole's done with me. I can't go home anymore. Is this junkyard all I've got left? Drew runs Oxy for Damon. Go to Drew's room, find the money, and I'll meet you to pick it up. Whatever you do, don't open the door. Oh, I want my fucking money! Juliet is wailing. That infernal inferno is the culprit, closing down the roads and robbing us of our aerial. No fucking chance. I swear to thee, we shall fly beyond this isle. The corners of the world are mere prologue. What sayest thou to my most hopeful wish? Yes. Let's leave. For real. If you don't mean this, it's... It's just making me feel like shit that this life you're describing isn't going to happen. What would it take to convince you? Why can't you just tell me the fucking truth? Rachel, that woman you saw, that wasn't my mistress. That was your mother. I want to tell you all of it. But are you sure that Chloe should be here for- Chloe stays. Of course. In every way that matters, Rose is my wife and your mother. But the woman you saw at the Overlook, her name is Sarah. Your Birth mother. I'm going to tell you everything, Rachel. Everything I've shielded you from for so long. But the truth can be hard to look at. Is this really something you're ready for? I'm here. I'm right here. Good. I need you. Love how you guys picked the one that I was going to pick anyway.
I was in high school, there was one person everyone adored. Her teachers, her friends. Sarah was everyone's favorite. Every boy wanted to date her. I could barely believe it when she picked me. Sometimes, I think that's what kept me blind for so long. She was so alive, so passionate about everything. Early on, though, I realized I wasn't enough for her. While the rest of us were pursuing college, careers, families, Sarah wasn't looking for any of that. She was looking for escape. Yeah, we're learning about Rachel's mom and dad now. When Sarah became pregnant, I thought it would solve everything. And it did. For a little while. Becoming your father was the greatest moment of my life. There was so much love, but I was still blind. However much she loved you then, it wasn't enough. For Sarah, the need to escape was always there. Man, imagine picking drugs over your newborn baby. For over a year, I tried to help her. I made myself believe that she was still a good person. That no matter what happened, she would never do anything to hurt you. I was wrong. Eventually, I saw her for who she really was. A destructive person. Someone who could never be satisfied. Anyone. Nah, not anything. dead. She, well, just Even stupid kinds of high. Of her own daughter. I was desperate. I didn't know what to do. So I made a choice. I was never going to let her harm you again. What you saw at the Overlook, Rachel, it was true, we kissed. It was the saddest kiss of my life. It was a kiss goodbye. I told her that I was happy for her, that she felt like she'd gotten her life together, finally. But she didn't get to just decide one day to be a mother. Not after what she'd done. Not after all the people she hurt. What a terrible mom. All the lives she destroyed. I told her she'd been given the greatest gift in the world. The chance to be your mother. And she squandered it. It pained me to hurt her like that. But I'd do it again. And again. And again. To keep you safe. Sarah. 
So that was the first time you've seen her or spoken with her in 15 years? No. I you say month. that, but... Uh, Every single month. I mean, this is the last episode you guys it's will see. our arrangement. I'm glad you're getting attached to her, by the way, Nana. No, she wants to see me? That's perfect for yes. when we start the next one. But Rachel, it cannot be. Why not, or who says it's your decision? I thought... B is super sassy. You think um, you have the right You said to you were getting attached. Okay, so what do you mean by getting attached Sarah, then? When I took Rachel away, I Was that attacked and I can't read? Life. My papega brain. Continue to protect her no matter what. But maybe she's different now. Maybe people change, right? Maybe so. But consider that for 15 years, she's preferred that money to you. Rachel, I think I need to lie down. Chloe. I'm super attached to Chloe. Like, I can't stand Rachel. There's stuff in the next game that makes me just hate Rachel. Rachel and Chloe, where are you guys? We're at the Tempest cast party. I already texted Rachel like eight times. Hey, I don't think we're making it. Chloe, you should come. Yeah, Chloe, you did awesome, babe. Hey, Chloe, great job tonight. Thanks, I can't. But you were amazing. I'll ad even admit that Mr. Keaton seemed a little disappointed when I arrived. Seriously, just come. Bring Rachel. Sorry, guys can't leave Rachel to deal with this alone. Yeah, you're getting attached to Chloe like the rest of us. In this house, we stand Chloe, okay? She is a precious creature. I've ordered dinner and it's going to be here in like eight minutes. Um, so when it gets here, I'll have to be right back to let the dude... Yeah, we stand. We stand Chloe and her perfect little self. Imperfect, perfect cell. Oh, Rachel. Yeah, it's a square game. You didn't know. Yeah, it's a square game. And yeah, when food gets here, then I'll be good to go. Rachel, Ending care. it after this scene would probably be best. So. Rachel's surrounded by so much love. Yet she seems so... Uh, alone. To our wonderful daughter on the night of her first show, break a leg, we love you. Right? Square's Rachel just so good at everything. Make a dinky lamp look cool. Makes sense that Rachel needs two signs to contain her awesomeness. I shall call her Lion Crab from now on. Cool light. You're such a dweeb, Chloe. This light needs more light. Wonder what I could find around here to brighten up that night light. Maybe I can make the world a less scary place. Back on the train, I said...
I've heard that Rachel and Nathan hang out sometimes, but it still seems hard to believe. Uh, she wrote, let I me know if you need an accomplice. This place. Yeah, right over Texas. Rachel's really into stars. I wonder if it's her way of feeling connected. Even you, Willie, couldn't come up with the tragedy Rachel's going through. Hard to believe the show was only a few hours ago. Seems like everything has changed since then. Oh. <laughs> At least she'll have something from tonight. Puts it in her water bottle, that's cute. I think Rachel could use another subject. But which one? Anatomy or herbology? Anatomy is really funny. Like, especially with the two of them being a thing. Well, I think anatomy is funny, personally. That's the one. <laughs> Where do babies come from? Show and tell. I bet Rachel could have any study partner she wanted. Not that I would let her. <laughs> I know Show and tell. Weird. I could get grades like this. I just don't want to. We were so close to making our break last night. The yin and badass yang of Rachel Amber. Above all, remember, you are loved. Before all else, be armed. Emergency kit, open. <laughs> Chloe, I'm leaving the door unlocked in case you don't have your key. Please come home. It doesn't matter that it's after curfew. Mom, I can't right now. Please. Oops, wrong button. This light needs more light. Chloe, you papega, we have the flashlight. Our little MacGyver over here. All ready for Rachel's light show. Better get her attention first. Hey, Rachel. I'm glad you're here, Chloe. Of course. Chloe is such a thoughtful creature. I there are people that don't like Chloe. Hey. I don't understand it. I genuinely do not understand it. It's beautiful. I thought you might like it. I've always loved stars. Why? 
probably what it is. But I mean, the people who think she's cringe have either, they're either clearly older males who have never had to deal with a teenage girl as an adult. Because we're blind. Or they just never dealt with women to begin with. But then I learned the truth. Yeah. Like, the stars they were just, seen. or they're homophobes. Already There's a lot of homophobic people who've played this game and return it because, years. oh no, a lesbian. They're all um, lies. But that doesn't make them any less beautiful, right? Yeah, these are canon answers. They're not even real. Then also, Rachel's not right the there. Um, most of the ones that we can see are still alive, actually. It's all lies. Everything. My entire life. My dad. <laughs> My mom. Well, no, Kara is big in science, so and uh, in he's the one that keeps me educated. And that other woman... My real mom. She's the biggest lie of all. I can't trust any of them. I think you're the only one in the world I can trust. Okay. Uh, I'm honored. I'll take it. I'm trying to remember which ones are the canon Even ones. It's only by process of elimination. <laughs> I wore this bracelet my entire life. I never even asked why. Never even What thought. video? Oh, the song? Somehow I think I always knew. Even when I didn't know. He sends lots of stuff. That my real mother was gone. It feels so dramatic. Oh, it's not to leave her, it's just to leave the scene. Like, it's just to skip through the music. Yeah, it's not to leave her, I promise. For me? I think I need to see her. Is that wrong? Uh, no or I don't know. No idea what's right or wrong in this situation. I just know that whatever you decide, I'm in. But what if we can't find her? It's not like I can ask my dad. I have no idea where to start. I've got this is, I think, the correct answer because Chloe just wants to please. Let me handle it. Really? Really. <laughs> Mysterious. I like it. Of course, even if we know where she is, we need a way to get to her. I can't just ask my parents for a ride. I've got that one, too. Don't worry. I've got that one covered, too. I've been streaming for a long time. Yep. In fact, anything uh, you could come up with. And it's literally been all this. Just like I told that biker dude at the mill. 
<laughs> this is a long this little mini series, be, like a mini game. Be flamethrowers. It's a lot longer than I thought it was. Ninjas and a motherfucking dragon on a leash between you and her. And I would still find a way to get you there. <laughs> Chloe fucking Price. My magical Shakespeare fairy. Shut up. <laughs> but once we find her, I... how do I talk to her? Leave it there, please. What do I say? Who just got here? Uh, you'll know or doesn't matter. After my dad died. I was worried I wouldn't know how to talk to him anymore. But somehow, when we speak, I always know what to say. When you speak? In my dreams. He's there. And it's so real. It's almost like it's another part of my life used to be the only part that mattered. I've never told anyone about that. Weird, huh? Uh, Rachel? I was just thinking... Maybe I was wrong before. cares if the stars are dead as long as we can still see them that means they're real to us oh, it's a cuddle right Oh yeah, there's one more dream sequence, I think. Yeah. And after this, then we'll call it. Because it'll put us towards the next uh, story. Song makes my heart hurt. I think we're stuck. These dream sequences are so creepy. Hey, maybe you should let me drive. You always do it wrong. That was one time. When are you going to let it go? <laughs> Remember when we used to work on cars together? Those are some of my favorite memories. Uh, yours or mine? Sounds so don't scared and small. After you're dead. Touche. All right, you win. Why don't you go take a look? You sure? Oh, don't worry, Nana. Ugh. What's wrong? Don't you see anything? Uh, here it is or nothing here. Fine. It's... 
spark plug. No, that's not it. I just had that replaced. Isn't improv supposed to be all about yes and? Yes and what? Dad, stop. N none of this is real. You're not real. R Rachel's family isn't real. This whole thing, it, it's, it's all just theater. Well, you know what William Shakespeare said. Sound and Fury are all the world's a stage. Something about the whole world being a stage. So, might as well act the fuck out of it. Close enough, Chloe. It. But I don't want to be an actor. I just want to be myself. Give me a break. Hmm. Well, maybe there's a reason we pretend. Maybe the lies we tell each other are less horrible than the truths we keep hidden. Wow. That's pretty dark, Dad. Where do you think you get it from? There's my cue. Dad. Relax, oh. sweetie. It's all pretend, right? Right. Just a bit of stage magic. Floodlights. Sound effects. Chloe. Look at me. Oh no. Look at me, sweetheart. It's going to be okay. Yuck. Boo. Yuck. Okay, I saw Sarah leaving Frank's RV. He might know how to find her. Plus, he likes me, and he owes me one from yesterday. I can do this. Come on, dude. Pick up. All right, we're so close to being at a spot where I can stop. Hey, Frank. I was actually gonna cash in for a favor instead. What do you say? Never run out of crap, do you? What's the problem? I need to find that woman from yesterday. Sarah. Frank? What the hell for? Something important. Can you help? Helping a friend or it mean a lot? I would really appreciate it. I'm your favorite client, remember? I'll be in the junkyard in two hours. <sighs> Sweet. Thanks, man. You're a real. <sighs> that went well, I guess. What am I getting myself into? Okay, I think we can stop here. I think this gives me back control. Yeah, there we go. Okay, I've got two hours to kill. A shower would be fucking amazing.
Hold on, let's go over these. Thank you for being there for me last night. I feel a lot better. Guess what? Hmm? I'm a good kisser? Okay, that. Also, we're meeting Frank at the junkyard in two hours. I think he can get us in touch with Sarah. Holy shit. Yep, I'm still at my house, just showering and then grabbing tools for the truck, so we'll meet at junkyard? I'll be there. You're amazing, Chloe Price. Okay. So you guys gotta go, I'm gonna go eat, and then I think I have people who want to do stuff after. So, that's my new plan. Thanks for hanging out with me and enjoying Life is Strange with me. I really appreciate it. I'll either play again later tonight or tomorrow morning. Thank you. It was nice to have you hanging out, Nana. Um, we'll finish it, like I said, either tonight or tomorrow. Um, I'll make sure I chop this up and uh, highlight it so so that it can go and Siv can watch it. Anyway, thanks guys. 